fight, we'd normally be talking about the race and the lead up to it, all the pomp and circumstance, and weather would be such a key factor. And this would not be ideal weather for it. Just kind of one of those rainy, windy days on this Tuesday, Lindsay. And uh, I know you're kind of outside into that awning. I mean, how, how does it even feel out there right now? It feels pretty good. We're in the mid 60s. It's obviously raining, so it's a little muggy. And we took a couple of things rain, rain gauges, and how to measure snow. Those were the two topics for our 13 Weather Academy we did just before the noon show. You can rewatch it back on our WTHR Facebook page, but I just wanted to show off uh, something that we made. It's going to be hard to measure snow in the month of May, so we actually made our own snow and our own little snowman, and we're able to measure that to kind of show kids the proper way to measure snowfall. So we had a lot of fun. Again, you can go back and rewatch that, but it's all about the rain today. So let's take you out on Live Doppler 13 radar and show you where some of those spotty showers have redeveloped. That does include through the Indianapolis metro and areas just off to the south and to the southwest. Let's zoom in a little closer here because Morgan County is really seeing quite the rainfall. This is just north of Martinsville toward Coatesville, up toward Danville. And then here through the Indianapolis metro, uh, certainly getting a steady rain here. I'm seeing it just off to my shoulder here. And then that rain extends along the I-70 corridor toward Richmond, our friends down in Liberty, throughout Cambridge City as well, from Wayne County down to uh, Fayette and Union County, certainly seeing some of that heavier rainfall. Now, this is all associated with a center of low pressure. You can see all of that heavy rain kind of spinning its way up through Ohio. And I apologize. I am outside, and I am in downtown Indy, so there are some sirens going past. Okay, I think they're good. Uh, anyway, so there's that low pressure area and just a ton of moisture, essentially a conveyor belt of liquid getting pulled into central Indiana from the east. So that's just kind of the pattern we're going to be stuck under for today, really even into tomorrow as well. So we're cloudy at 66 with that light rain falling through the Indianapolis metro. Over the next several hours as we get into the evening tonight, we'll hold steady in the 60s. Again, a stray shower going to be a possibility. But as we get into the overnight, the rain, the showers, they're going to be fewer and far between. It stays cloudy overnight with temperatures falling back into the mid-50s, which is pretty seasonal for this time of year. And then this area of low pressure is actually going to sink a little farther south for tomorrow. So that main flooding threat will also move south and actually give us a little more dry time. Here's how this plays out on Future Track 13. We'll start it outside right now. Again, we'll keep the spotty showers in the forecast through the remainder of the afternoon. Rain starts to clear overnight. That's how we start the day on Wednesday. A spotty shower early on, but really a lot of dry time tomorrow. It stays cloudy, stays cooler than average. But overall, not a bad day. Here's how it plays out. Mid-50s to get the day started, mostly cloudy. A high near 66, still about 8 degrees below average for this time of year for Indy. Terre Haute gets back up to 70 and this is that pattern change here by Friday, 74. And then we're really going to start to feel like summer. Pretty typical for Memorial Day weekend, right? 82 with some stray storms on Saturday, a muggy day on Sunday, 84. And then for Memorial Day this year, we are going to be very warm, 85 for your high. Spotty storms are in the forecast for the early part of next week. All right, we'll take the warm-up on, on the way. Lindsay, thanks a lot. You